Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. My name is Luke, and I'm on the Grease Monkey team at Shear Products. And today we're going to be taking a look at Grease Monkey in a little bit more depth um, by highlighting the dashboard. While the dashboard is certainly something that we all interact with, it's the default landing spot after logging in, there are a couple of features that uh, you may or may not know about that can be uh, very helpful in certain search, uh, situations. So the first thing we're gonna take a look at today is around the status badges. Of course, we see these at the top of the page and I get a high level count of, uh, you know, the number of projects that are in each corresponding status. But you may not know that these particular badges also act as filters. So if I wanted to only see a list of my closed projects, then I can actually deselect these items. They turn gray, showing that. And now I'm only seeing my closed projects. Bring back by selecting another one, and that is displaying for me. Again, th this is really a, a, a feature that uh, can be very helpful when we're in an exploration mode or maybe browsing or trying to evaluate uh, different, different projects, um, something that maybe has been created before, but perhaps it has been a while since uh, needing to interact with it. So the next item uh, in the dashboard, of course, this one's maybe a little bit more standard, uh, commonplace, but that's just the sort function. Um, by default, we have the most recent projects uh, up at the top, um, and it goes in descending chronological order. Uh, you can take a look at the name. Of course, this is a project name in alphabetical order. And then lastly, the product itself. Um, just know that this is in kind of numerical order, not really um, reflective of like size of the interceptor or anything like that, um, but more of if you see here the GB1000, the first place is one, and then two, and then uh, the five here for uh, the GB50. The next feature to take a look at here is around what we call the preview panel. So as this list would uh, continue to grow with the more sizings that are done, uh, there comes time when um, it might be a little bit cumbersome in order to try and find an old project or um, you know gain access to it. Another time that we see this feature being used is uh, especially if you do the same or, or numerous uh, instances of the same type of job like a, a national chain. One of the features that can be utilized is the preview panel and you can do that by selecting uh, in between any of these columns uh, for um, the project. So if I select here, I'm now seeing a drawer that expands and it gives a little bit more detail into what this project is, saving me that click of changing, um, going into the summary page uh, in order to evaluate, you know, was this the right, right instance of this particular project that I've done maybe many times? Uh, you know, you can get and evaluate a couple of different data points to see The last thing we'll take a look at is the clone feature. So certainly with uh, that, that kind of use case of doing many of the same type of project over and over, uh, we see kind of a best case, um, you know, best, best case scenario or um, use case is around uh, creating a template for that type of job and then cloning it. Uh, so over here on the right, I can take this project and utilize all of the same answers. So it's the fixtures, it's the uh, menu information. I can do that um, and create a new one um, using the same thing, saving me from having to kind of re-enter over and over again. 
The difference uh, certainly will be around um, the address and uh, the city. If there are uh, local requirements that are present, so for instance, like Oregon Plumbing Code in this case, even though I have not, uh, you know, the original template uh, was not placed there, I now have all of the same information, but the, the Oregon code is being applied to it. So I'm using DFUs in, in this case. So it kind of switches it over and now I can utilize that same information and depending on how they size it, you know, I might get a different result. So that cloning feature can really save us some, some time uh, and to streamline our process. So that's the dashboard. Again, hopefully these are a couple of different tips that you may not have known about that you can utilize. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at sizing at shareproducts.com and we'd be happy to help. Thanks so much.